this guy. His serial number was N22-23-T, and his name was derived from his alphanumeric number TWKE-4. That can be no one other than that small silvery tin man, Tweaky, from Buck Rogers in the 25th century, which ran on NBC for two seasons from 1979 to 1981. But the first time we meet the robot Tweaky, an ambioquad, meaning robots made specifically for work in space mines, is in a 1979 pilot episode of Buck Rogers in the 25th century. NBC must have been so impressed with this pilot and the fact that it's riding the Star Wars tidal wave of popularity because they released it into theaters and it did very well, making $21 million in North America alone. Tweaky becomes the robotic servant sidekick of the 504-year-old cryo-preserved Buck Rogers, and along the way he develops Rogers' easygoing style and sense of humor, often offering to give people five or a Tweaky, which is a gentle robotic pinch, by the way. And that would be a very questionable show of affection these days, robot or no robot. The most unique thing about Tweaky, apart from being just so darn cute, is that trademark sound that it makes. Can you do it? Go ahead, give it a shot. Nobody's watching. Here, let me go. Beady, beady, beady. That was pretty good, that wasn't that, wasn't that bad. Beady, beady, beady. Okay, you could probably do better. I have no idea what that means at all. Maybe it was a robotic come on to all the babes that appeared on the show, and there were a lot of babes that appeared on that show. Let's just start with Aaron Gray as Colonel William Deering, Pamela Hensley as Queen Ardala, Dorothy Stratton as Miss Cosmos, Jamie Lee Curtis, Marky Post, and that eternally lovely Julie Newmar. But God, who could ever forget her as Catwoman? The best episode of Buck for Tweaky fans comes in Season 1, Episode 16, Tweaky is missing. It's about a mining baron on the asteroid Tauros who wants to make a whole bunch of droids to replace his human workers. Wait, does that even sound familiar? At the start of season two of Buck Rogers, there was a change coming for our Tweaky friend. That being his voice change. No, not by robotic puberty. It came by way of unfortunate circumstances. When the show went into production for season two, Mel Blanc became ill. Mel Blanc, of course, being the man of a thousand voices, having voiced iconic cartoon characters from Bugs Bunny to Daffy Duck, and of course being the voice of Tweaky. And he couldn't do the voice. Bob Ely, and I'm probably saying that wrong, stepped in to do Tweaky's voice for the first seven episodes of season two. If you watch those episodes, you may wonder why no one ever mentions it in the show. My guess is that the voice was added post-production. While Mel Blanc provided the voice, the person who brought Tweaky to life was Felix Silla. Felix got his start in entertainment as a circus performer with Ringling Brother and Barnum Bailey Circus, where he performed as a tumbler and a trapeze artist. From there, he went on to do stunt work in movies and TV shows, but it was his diminutive size that led to his character roles. Felix stood three foot 11 and he performed some very iconic characters, most notably Cousin It from The Addams Family, and of course Tweaky and Buck Rogers. Felix died on April 16, 2021, at 84 years of age from pancreatic cancer in Las Vegas, Nevada. Right now, there are reports that Buck Rogers will be rebooted in a big way with George Clooney. So maybe, and I certainly hope so, there will be a new revamped Tweaky for all of us to see and enjoy. Beedy, beedy, beedy. Thank you for joining me here for this episode of Doc Tune. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me. Leave an encouraging word down in the comments. Be nice. I will reply back. Thank you for watching and please share.